in order for it to show up. So it's kind of uh, kind of a big thing. So they have um, enhanced items. It's kind of like having rare gear in uh, like Diablo or something, where it's got some random stats. Um, you can salvage it for things, and the installed mods will tell you. So you got a spread mod, Mark Three, and a velocity mod. I'm gonna take it. I like pulse lasers. I don't know why I think about that so long. We're just going to take it and move on. Um, like I said, there is a bit of a time limit. And when I get to a, a sizable income, I'll actually show you what happens. But I kind of want to, you know, make, make some money on this run. I want to be successful. Ow. Oh, damn. What do I have? Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. So your mineable stuff, almost all of it, you shoot. Things come off of it. And then you get close enough for your tractor beam to grab those items. Um, you, have a, you have a very modest amount of pull. Uh, you will grab things from a pretty modest range. However, they, that's partially I think because there is a tr actual tractor beam in the game that you can um, equip into your uh, it's a passive device you don't have to use it um, actively you don't wait for it to cool down that's the credits a credits transport <laughs> holy shit so this is the service station your service station is your kind of like hub it's got you know they they are scattered around the maps um, and they've got a little bit of everything that is a box that is a GNB tech container if it says GNB before tech container or container it means it belongs to them and they will become very cross if you take it now if you want to be the kind of person that um, robs and steals from GNB you can and right now all is basically forgiven when you jump away and enter a new sector. They apparently don't have any means of communication with each other. So you can attack these ships, you can steal from them, you can uh, take the box, get what's in it, and run if you want. Um, okay. It's up to you. I don't do that because I like to... Uh, you know, utilize them as a resource. So it used to be, it seems to me, uh, over the uh, prodigious amount of time I've spent playing this, that they have gotten away from, tra uh, in the trading hubs, you used to be able to give them minerals and get money as a way of just getting extra money and getting the most out of your runs. Um, or then turning around and spending that money on fuel. Is there's fuel here and repair there. Um, but I don't think they have that in the game anymore. And it might have been because they didn't want people to cheese their way, I guess, through different runs by just selling off all of your components. All right, I think we're done with this sector. Let's go ahead and move on. I'll, I, I want to get as far as is possible to kind of give you guys an idea. I have not beaten the game. I've gotten to the last sector and the last zone in the last sector, and it's like a a big to do. You've got a bunch of objectives to accomplish within that area. Um, none of the story content is here yet, but from what I understand, they're doing something that's going to make your death part of the narrative. The fact that you died is important for progressing, just like play, playing Shadows of Mordor, you know, getting killed wasn't. Go back to my channel. It was important, actually, to progress. All the way through the story, you kind of have to. Um, otherwise, you're going to miss out on some cool stuff. Yep, I accidentally picked up a scatter gun. I don't want this fucking thing. I can get rid of it. Oh my god. I've got so many weapons. That is. Yep, I've got all four. That's not what I wanted. Okay. But that's good. So. Um. 
there is rumble support if you decide to play this on PC I highly recommend playing it with a gamepad with rumble function uh, if you're playing it on Xbox one it's completely built uh, from the honey from the ground up to support Xbox functionality so you'll get the you'll get the rumble this is a gene you can freely take any ore that is these drones are going to run around and grab it which is kind of a cool piece of narrative it's not really spelled out for you but you can kinda if you if you observe you'll see the little drones will come and get the ore and there's these guys that drive around and they make sure that nobody fucks with the drones or steals any of the boxes that are around problem is these are fuel containers they have actual fuel in them and I can blow them up and steal them and again the GMB corporation will get very me until I jump out of this sector. Oh, okay. That's not what I meant to click. So let's go ahead. Any item you have, you have an action panel. I'm going to go ahead and remove and salvage. Remove and salvage, but I talked about you cannot increase the amount of damage your weapon does in, in, your, in your hub, in your hangar so to speak this is where you do that you can do fire rates um, mods hull damage um, shield damage and they it, if you're curious about like what's under the hood their their change log is very very transparent you can go onto their website and see some of the, the changes they've made but um, fire rate has been rebalanced um, to make it less appealing um, or I guess to make it as appealing as hull damage or shield damage because the logic being well if I shoot faster then I'm doing more hull damage and more shield damage because I'm firing faster and that is absolutely true but they uh, balanced it out to make all three options equally pleasant so I guess I can't be mad about that. It, it is a good thing for the game because I basically got to a point where I was like, why would I ever do anything but upgrade my, um, but upgrade hull damage or fire rate? Why would I do anything but fire rate? So they balanced it out, which I think is cool. Frustrating for me because I'm like, oh man, I had my go-to, I had my favorite weapons and my go-to mods. Um, energy consumption mod and two fire rate mods done um, can't do that anymore so I'm hoping they're gonna add more enemies um, this is not just like I want to be honest I like the game um, this is the AI is somewhat uncreative when it comes to fighting so you do find yourself occasionally in these closed loops of just basically pointing your nose at them and flying in a circle while they fly in a circle around you. Um, so I'm hoping that they get new enemy types and stuff like that to kind of vary up the way that... I should have seen this coming. Um, the way that the enemies fight to vary up the combat. Because you can... Not that it ever gets old um, to me. For me, it's... You know gathering all the equipment, gathering all the scrap, and getting as far as I can, Result. getting a fuck ton of money, and then spending that money on permanent upgrades for my ship is the fun of it. Um, so it's got a gameplay loop that I personally find rewarding. Um, so the combat, it, it doesn't get tedious, but it is, it gets a bit samey after a while. Um, but again, early access. So don't go buy something that you don't 100% believe in. But I, again, will reiterate, this is one to keep your eye on if you like PC space games or Xbox space games. It's completely single player. It's 100% free. Um, they said there will be no microtransactions. I mean, it's not free. You have to pay for the game. But there's no microtransactions. It's going to be single player only. So... 
you can just this is one of those it's why I'm streaming it because you can just sit down lean back and go go on your very own space adventure now there is an AI um, in the ship that talks to you he much to me anymore because I think I've exhausted his um, dialogue he he will say a few things um, he will point out when I'm being attacked uh, comically so but and I think it's kind of a good move on their part um, but they made it to where you will not like you don't hear the same thing every time you get to sector 2 every time you get to sector 3 where he's like oh we've gotten farther now that um, because it is it's a game about going and doing the same run over and over and over with a randomly generated like any roguelite or um, game with any kind of roguish roguelike elements um, it's about doing the same thing over and over and over again you want to keep it interesting you want to keep it fresh but you don't want to like like beat over your player's head with you know the same freaking dialogue um, so I get why they did it but if you don't hear him say much but occasionally do hear like a British ish voice pop up and say you know result or you're getting shot it's because I have an AI in my ship you're not a crazy person he's there all the time he just doesn't talk very much anymore so I'm at about half fuel so I'm going to see if I can find a aha yes so there's fortunately um, like any any game of this kind you are going to find pretty much all of the different types of structures in the game and you're gonna get used to those patterns and what can typically be found in those areas um, it's actually not a bad thing um, it's it's to me it's integral to the experience it's just like if I'm playing Rogue Legacy and I see a certain way I know hey there's usually a false floor in these kinds of hallways or I should look for a short of hallways you kind of can find um, patterns they've gotten better like box that's a box yep container um, they've gotten better they've mixed it up usually they used to be only right in, like inside you'd get boxes all the time now they've actually got it to where sometimes the boxes will be outside the asteroid along one of the under one of their faces I think I saw a trader hell yeah I did um, these are traders these are basically your um... hold on I need to go to my star map okay no Sorry, I, I think my last run I played on hard, and so I died very early on, so I want to make sure I don't pass up my ship's wreckage. Uh, these are your your hub lights. They only trade items, so you can't repair or get fuel here. You can attack it, if that's what you want to do. Um, you can get... Um, some of these are expendables, like plasma mines. Some of these, like the energy core extension, are passives. So you can trade stuff. Again, I wish they hadn't gotten rid of the ability to trade like excess materials for money. Because you could have your own little economy where like you get rid of, you've got too much scrap so you sell it off for some dark matter. Um, things that you need to build high level stuff. But I guess, I guess they didn't want to do that because it does kind of shake up the economy of the game a little bit too much then you're not choosing the the choice the oppor the cost of each of these decisions is that I've got 3700 in my run right now um, uh, here we go if um, I start spending some of that on materials then I'm not going to have that for the end of the run for upgrades, permanent upgrades. So if you could just sell a bunch of stuff, you wouldn't have to worry as much. I think that was their line of thinking. 